Today's challenge is a reverse Nuzlocke with Gray. The goal is to push Gray from 500 trophies to 600 trophies following special rules that actually makes this really difficult. In fact, I have not been able to successfully complete this challenge following the current rule set yet. I can only play with randoms. I'm not allowed to hit play again with good randoms. I can't upgrade Gray past power nine. If I lose a single match, I can no longer play that game mode with Gray, but I am required to play every game mode at least once, and I fail the challenge if I run out of game modes. This is the ultimate test to see how strong Gray is and whether or not he's worth unlocking, upgrading, or if he's even worth playing if you already have him upgraded. Now, I started this challenge in Bounty because when I first unlocked Gray, I actually didn't think he was going to be very good in Bounty, but he's actually kind of kind of an assassin, a little bit. So I wanted to try him out here first. That's really rough. That is hard. He's not very good for bounty. <laughs> oh, and we are already down negative six trophies. Okay, great start, Kairos, great start. And just like that, bounty is already gone, which is, which is ridiculous. <laughs> I would have liked to have gotten some wins in bounty. At the same time, I'm not too surprised. <laughs> Up next is Brawl Ball. And just like that, we are back behind them and making a goal. That's awesome, okay. And here's our other goal. Boom, okay, awesome. We got, a, we got a victory. There's no, there's no way I got star player. I'm doing no damage. And we've at least gained two trophies. Dude, his, his attacks are really weird. Like, I almost don't know when I'm about to hit them. Like, it's, it's really weird. But I'm a really great counter against Dynamite. Because, like, literally I can just do that. And there's, like, not anything he can do. Oh, shoot. Oh, that was not good. Oh, that's really unfortunate. Man, I can't jump on the Lou if the B is there. Okay, but I got rid of her. Please tell me you can't. Okay, just go. Just go. Kick it in. Kick it in. Kick it in. Okay. Oh, man. Okay, I'm going to die, but at least I prevented them from going in there. Man, I can't believe we got a draw. Like, for real. <laughs> okay, I'll pass it to you. Boom, there we go. Ooh, the teleports are sneaky. I love it. Boom, love it. Yes, oh, I love that teleport, and I'm so glad that Griff opened that up for us. That's going to make it so much better. Boink. Okay, I didn't get to do it, but it's fine, it's fine. Okay, very good. <laughs> Still, I'm not doing any damage, so Star Player is really hard to get. But we did get another win. <laughs> Oh, what the heck? How did I die after I placed down a teleporter? I'm really sorry about that teleporter flip position, guys. I was, that was really bad. Oh, dude, yes. Oh, that's so easy and so good. You just have to get the right position. Okay. Oh, that was dumb. I should have just helped. Nah, I shouldn't have helped. Uh, you know, it's fine. Daryl's running that ball up there. They're going to have a very difficult time getting it away. How, how, how did he do that? He just passed everybody. Oh my gosh, Troy, you're my favorite person. Even if you did still star player from me. <laughs> oh my gosh, we've got a Mortis on my team. Go, go, Mortis. Just, just do your thing. Just do it. <laughs> okay. He did his thing. It worked out great. I you know, I guess I can't complain. Dude, that gadget is low-key amazing. Oh, that well anyway. The gadget is really good, and I have not been utilizing it as well as I could be, but you know what? I will take those additional eight trophies and play again. Because the randoms didn't want to play with me anyway. Oh no. Dang it. I saw that come, and there's very little you can... I should use my gadget! Oh. <sighs> okay, okay. At least I passed the ball five times. <laughs> and with that, we lost Brawl Ball, and honestly, I really wish I could have gotten further with Brawl Ball. But it's not because he's bad in Brawl Ball. He's actually pretty good. I know it doesn't look like it, because you're not going to get Star Player with him very often, uh, because he just doesn't do very much damage, but he can do some cheesy plays in Brawl Ball. <laughs> Up next is Heist. Okay, I'm not feeling too good about playing him in Heist. However, the enemy team has Poco, so... Come on. Kill him. Ah, I can't believe I... Come on. Oh my gosh. 
Oh, I'm so upset right now. <laughs> oh, 522 trophies, and we've already lost three game modes. Okay, I'm just gonna move on. Except the showdown map is Cavern Churn, which I am not going to play him on. And this is probably one of his worst gem grab maps. He is not very, he doesn't do well with bushes. Now, just so you guys know, I don't purposefully try to manipulate the maps very much when I do these challenges. I try to just jump in and play them, but I'm gonna have to wait for Heist and Bounty to swap, so I might as well wait for gem grab and then showdown as well. Gray's not doing as well as I had hoped in this challenge, and I want to give him the best chance possible. It's the next day. The map has changed. I'm liking this one a lot more. Okay, I do not want to break these walls, so I'm not going to use this gadget against this Penny to beat her right now. I'm going to heal up. She's going to put down her turret, which is going to be very annoying. I don't like the BB. Um, she's got a lot of HP. Pam can heal as well. Do not like facing off against the Pam. My best, honestly, my best option is facing off against uh, this Penny. Oh my gosh. No, I just gave it to them. I just gave it to them. That is not good. Oh, I didn't pull her. Ah, no. Oh, that was so my fault too. I don't think you want to play gem carrier as him because if you're carrying all the gems, you can't go in to try and assassinate somebody. So he's better off on the side. Oh, I wish I could have had one more match in gem grab because I, I feel like he's better in gem grab than that. And I just made a stupid mistake. Well, we're down six trophies and we're down a game mode because of that. Up next, we got knockout. I hate knockout for this challenge for this reverse Nuzlocke challenges because if just if I just get knockout is literally like a battle of who has the worst teammates, like. Let's get out of here. Ah, no, I should have saved, should I say, have saved the super? I don't know, it was a 1v3. Come on. Oh my gosh. Okay. Boom, got the Piper, yes! Okay, that was actually really good. I'm coming around. Okay, boom. Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm sweating. Boom, got two of them. I thought I might die here. Um, honestly though, it doesn't matter because it'd still be a 2v1 and I should've won, so. Okay, okay. Oh, and I finally got a star player. <laughs> and, and I'm, I'm gonna die to the Mr. P. I mean, both my teammates were dead. Okay, and I, I killed the, bu the Brock. Boom. Okay. Okay, sweet. We turn it around, even though we have a freaking bot on our team. Dude, I keep missing my shots with him. He's, I don't know what it is about him, but he's hard to hit his shots with. Dude, you see that? He fires off the rocket, you're gonna get hit by it. You teleport past the rocket and take him out. That's, it's it's actually really cool. His super is really awesome. And you can use it in, in, in a lot of really cool ways. Okay. <sighs> I didn't have the ammo reloaded because I wasted that. Oh no. And I really could have beaten him. I really could have. <sighs> so we lost knockout. It's disappointing. I feel like I don't want to like justify my actions because we still lost. But at the same time, like what do you do when you have a bot? Like I, I feel like we did pretty good. So now we're playing knockout and I'm actually excited to try his portals on this one. Okay, I got rid of the Edgar. And what I'm excited about here is being able to, oh, that's cool. Put a teleporter there so that we can easily get back and forth between them. Okay. Okay, okay. This is pretty good. This is actually working out well. Dude, this unload speed is, is really slow. Like, you can't just, like, fire, fire, fire. You have to wait a while. <sighs> I'll get away. I'll get away safely. Okay, okay. Okay, very good, dude. That dynamite. The dynamite and the barley, they did really well. Having double throwers on your team is always scary, though. Dude, I'm really bad at hitting my shots with him. Oh, Poco, you're amazing. 
Oh, dude. B back door behind the twister. Oh, they got attacked. Oh, no, 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 no. So teleport in there, Sprout. He gets 90. He gets 100%. Okay, sweet. <laughs> that was a little sketch. Okay. I don't know how they are dodging my shots so well when I'm playing him because it's almost impossible to see the projectiles. Okay, I gotta heal up. We got a Bonnie over here. Thank you, Dinah. That's so good. Boom. Okay, there we go. Oh, very good. Destroying that wall. That's awesome, Dinah. Oh, I don't know why I did not see that coming. Teleport out of there. I'm gonna heal up. Oh, how did he heal up? Oh, he must use his gadget. He uses it again. Okay, but that teleporter got me out of there safely, which is like actually awesome. Okay, we just gotta get another 4%. We should have this pretty easily. Boink. And we win. Okay, <laughs> very good. Oh, that's actually really awesome. And we are officially halfway there. We have this game mode and both the showdowns left. So I, I, it's possible we could beat this. Ah, I can't get by that close to that buzz. Okay, oh, we're not doing very well this time. I've got to get over there. No, they're about to win. We're not even close. Wow, we just got slaughtered. And now knockout is gone and our last two options are solo and duo showdown. <laughs> Not a great situation to be sitting in, especially at 544 trophies. <laughs> Luckily, this is probably one of the better maps for him in showdown. So second or better, we just got to take out one other team. I think we can do that. <clears throat> I don't know if it's smart or not for me to come over here. I doubt that anybody's hiding in these bushes. Oh, dude, awesome. Okay, we got it. We got it. My spike teammate is just going around killing people left and right. There's a ton of cubes over here. Boom. There we go. I really like my teammate spike. I really wish I could play with him again. I really do because he did very well. Unfortunately, it looks like he doesn't want to play again with me anyway. Oh, B getting up getting some cubes. Come on. No! Oh, as sad as it is, I decided I'm not going to allow draws to stay in the game. So I had, so that means I lost Duo Showdown. So we're at 553 trophies and it all comes down to just me. We're playing Solo Showdown. I have to get fourth or better every single time to make this work. One mistake in a 1v1 situation and I'm toast. Let's go. Huh, huh, yes, got him. <laughs> How did that? What hit? I think the Bonnie just hit me. I think the Bonnie killed me. Oh! Wait, was I was I the number four? Oh my gosh! Oh, 573. Three quarters of the way there. Boom, got him. Okay. Oh, what the heck? Whoa, that was weird. If you auto-aim the super, it immediately goes on, it teleports you to another person. That's, that's very interesting. I, I don't know. I, you know that moment when you're right next to an Edgar and you're just like, automatically spam all the buttons. You're like, super gadget. I don't care what they do. That's what just happened. <laughs> okay, but we could do this with two more wins, actually. So like, this is possible. And I'm dead. <laughs> I mean, what do you do in a situation where you got two people teaming? Okay. <laughs> well, we got him at least. We are literally three trophies away. I cannot believe it. it's come down to this. I have to win this. If I get worse than fourth, then this challenge is a fail. My heart is actually pounding out of my chest. Like, actually. <laughs> I'm taking big deep breaths. I'm, I'm drinking water. <laughs> if Gray's the first brother that I actually beat this challenge with, I'm gonna be shocked. <laughs> okay, that was fast matchmaking here. Okay, let's do this. Tons of boxes. It is an Edgar right there. I'm just hoping he does, he has a gadget. I'm just hoping it's not the one that charges. He's not activating anything. So he's gonna grab that and I'm just gonna run away. We have to know who we can handle and who we cannot. That's part of of showdown. He's got a super up. I cannot afford to go and try and aggravate him at all. 
He's coming over here, so he is targeting me. That is not good. So I literally have to come and just go all the way around the slow way. Try and deal with this amber. Oh my gosh, I do not enjoy being put up in a corner like this. Okay. Yeah, get rid of that amber. I'm gonna try and check out this fight. Boom. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, that was it. That was it. Killing that spike is what I needed to make this challenge work out. I'm so happy. Who is that? Get away from me. I don't know who you are, but stay away. <laughs> oh, okay. If let's, let's, oh, he is poisoning me. If he uses his gadget. Oh, come on. Oh, I should have waited until he attacked and then jumped on him. It doesn't matter. We gained the four trophies. We <laughs> officially did this. My heart is pounding. 601 trophies. The first brawler that I've successfully beat this reverse Nuzlocke following the current rule set is Gray. It really all came down to solo showdown, which I don't know how fair that is. But at the same time, I was making fights the whole way. I was gaining power cubes. I was not just sitting in a bush. And Gray's a sneaky little assassin in showdown. So I I, you know what? I, I think that it is fair, but we still have to answer three questions. Is he worth unlocking in comparison to other mythic brawlers? Is he worth upgrading in comparison to other brawlers? And if you have him upgraded, is he worth playing? If you are a new player or you're not very good at the game, I do not recommend unlocking Cray very early. His shots are incredibly narrow and that makes it very difficult to land hits on enemies. And that means you're not going to deal very much damage and you won't have his super charged up very frequently, which that is the most fun part about playing Cray is having a super and being able to teleport around. Now, if you are very good at aiming, great, like really good at aiming, great is a lot of fun to play and I do recommend unlocking him over most mythic brawlers. I would definitely unlock Max before unlocking Gray. Gene, Terra, and Squeak are like kind of toss-ups, I think, but he's a really great fourth choice no matter what. So if you already have him unlocked, is he worth upgrading? Honestly, there are so many other brawlers I would recommend upgrading first, but I do think that he's fairly high up there. And I do think that once his second gadget becomes available, he will probably be one of the stronger brawlers at a competitive level, especially especially when it comes to Brawl Ball. So if you're not a super competitive player, I would wait to upgrade him because there are easier brawlers that are stronger when you aren't like really good at the game or not saying that you're bad at the game, but not so competitive because he does have a really high skill cap. Let's, so let's say you've unlocked him and you've upgraded him. Is he worth playing very often? And this is really gonna come down to the map and mode and your own skill. He is not great everywhere. It, clearly in this video, we had a lot of losses, a lot of one match losses for game modes, but he really is great where he thrives. I really like him a lot in Brawl Ball, Hot Zone, and I think he does have some gem grab potential, at least for maps that are fairly wide open, as long as you don't make stupid mistakes like I did. But I also really liked him in Solo Showdown. I would not play him in Bounty, Heist, or maybe not even Knockout either, and I don't really like him for Duo Showdown either. But I want to know what you guys think about this video, so let me know in the comment section below, and also subscribe for future content. I'm also very curious what you guys think about this series, as opposed to the one that I did with Chester, where I played him in uh, Power League, to try and figure out how strong he is and talked about that. If you guys watch both of those, please let me know in the comment section below. I'm trying to figure out what I should do for new brawler um, videos because I can't unbox them anymore. And I don't know. I'm trying to figure that out. <laughs> anyway. Oh yeah. Subscribe. Check out my other videos right here. For now, this is Kairos. I'm ticking by. We will see you in Brawl Stars.